Hello children, consider this quadratic equation x squared plus 6x plus 9 is equal to 0. We will try to uh, factorize this quadratic by grouping it and also find the roots. So, how do we go about it? We will uh, for this purpose we will have to split the middle term in such a way that uh, we find two numbers a and b. So, in such a way that if you add a and b, it should give you the coefficient of the middle term 6 and the product of a b should be equal to the constant term multiplied by the coefficient of x squared which is 9 into 1, 9. So, uh, now without uh, thinking much, I think it is easy to say that uh, 9 can be expressed as a product of 3 and 3 which when added which when added will give you 6. So, let us break this middle term, split this middle term as a sum of 3x plus 3x and plus 9 is equal to 0. Now, this helps you in grouping. So, uh, making it into two groups and finding the common factors for the first group the common factor is x. Uh, so, what is within the brackets is x plus 3, just the reverse of our distributive property. So, if you multiply x into x, x into x will give you x squared and x into 3 will give you 3x. And similarly, in the second group, your uh, common factor is 3 and in brackets x plus 3, this is equal to 0. So, now we have found the factors of x squared plus 6x plus 9 it is x plus 3 multiplied by x plus 3. It is nothing but x plus 3 the whole squared. So, we ultimately find that x squared plus 6x plus 9 is perfect square. This is a perfect square. So, we get the same, uh, the factor is x plus 3 only into x plus 3 multiplied by x plus 3. So, if we were able to recognize that this quadratic equation is a perfect square even before we do all these uh, splitting the middle term, finding out these factors, splitting the middle term etc. It would have been much easier for us, isn't it? But is there a way of identifying? Yes, there is a way of identifying. Let me rewrite x squared plus 6x plus 9 and what do we know about uh, squares of uh, polynomials. Now, just consider uh, a plus b a sum of any two variables are, uh, and a plus b. This is nothing but a plus b the whole square, right? This is a plus b the whole square. What is a plus b multiplied by a plus b? It is a multiplied by a plus b plus b multiplied by a plus b which is equal to a squared a into a, a squared plus a b right plus b a. b a can also be written as a b commutative property of multiplication it is one and the same plus b squared which is a squared. So, a b plus a b would give you 2 a b plus b squared right. So, we have obtained that a plus b the whole squared where a and b are any uh, can be represent their variables representing any real numbers would can be expressed as a squared plus 2ab plus b squared. Now, if you can find any uh, link between uh, this x squared plus 6x, 6x plus 9 and a squared plus 2ab plus b squared. So, uh, as soon as we look at uh, the x squared plus 6x plus 9, we see that 9 is a square of 3, right? 9 can be written as 3 squared and this is already a square x squared. Just that uh, here the leading coefficient is 1, we will have to keep in mind this. So, this the leading coefficient is 1, so this is x squared. So, why can't we say that in this uh, x squared, this quadratic equation a is equal to x and this a, I mean this a is equal to x and b is equal to 9. So, this is what about 6x then? Does 6x look like 2ab in any way? What is a? a is uh, x, so x is already there, x and what is uh, b? b is 3, yeah 3 and of course a 2, 2 into x into 3. So, which is uh, which is just 2 into a into b. 
So, this is a plus b the whole square or x plus 3 the whole square, is not it? So, this, this quadratic equation x square plus 6x plus 9 straight away if we are able to identify that this is a perfect square, we can straight away write the factors of this as x plus 3 the whole square is equal to 0 and hence the roots of this equation are just taking the square roots on both sides. What do you get? Uh, you take the square root of this and the square root of 0, square root of 0 is already 0. So, x plus 3 is equal to 0 obviously. So, x is equal to minus 3. We get repeated roots here. Uh, x is equal to minus 3. So, just see we have avoided all these uh, calculations and working just by identifying that this equation is a perfect square. Now, if you know that it is a perfect square, your calculations are easy to find the factors and roots. Now, the question is can any arbitrary quadratic equation such as this ax squared plus bx plus c is equal to 0, can it be expressed as a perfect square? Can it be even if it is not? even if it is not a direct perfect square like you have here x squared plus 6x plus 9, can it be expressed as a perfect square? Now, we will see, we will answer this question in our next video. I hope you understood. Thank you.